Greetings! It's the Captain from Andersons here and I thought I'd dress up like Ronald McDonald today just because I bought a new shirt and uh, I forgot my Andersons t-shirt. So, I've even got some chocolate on it already. Oh no, honestly. So, um, got a couple of funky kind of products for you from uh, the chaps at Eden and these are a little bit weird uh, in that we don't really sell a product quite like this other than these um, and it has a sort of a slightly niche application or, of course, on the alternative, you could say it could work for every application. So I'm going to run you through it. There's two basic products in the range. A uh, little Diddy uh, EM15 on this side here and the EM275, which is the, the sort of the wedge-shaped monitor one on the floor here. And they are kind of general purpose, uh, sort of multi-input amps that could be used for a number of different things. So I think it's predominantly set up as almost like an education product. So what I've got on, on this particular amplifier here, I have said so on the EM275, I have four inputs. On the EM15, I have two inputs. On the 275, it's quite a lot louder. So this is up to 150 watts in stereo. Little EM15 is just 15 watts. Um, so I'm gonna start with the EM275. What I've done is I've plugged in a bass guitar, an electric guitar going through a couple of pedals, uh, and I've also got a microphone plugged in, but you're not gonna hear me sing, I'm afraid, and just a, an iPod actually, which I've got all plugged in at the same time, or an, an iPhone. And I've got quite a lot of controls for two of the channels, and then just level controls for the other two channels. I've got three sets of headphone outputs, so again, if, you know, if a bunch of you, you and your buddies were kind of plugged into this, you could each have your own headphone mix output. And, there's a little, there's a couple of effects in here that are sort of more for the bass player really. So channel two has a, a distortion control and a compression control that work okay for bass. Um, and it's kind of cool. I, I think sort of applications for this are for anybody who's in a little kind of band with their brothers and sisters or, or you know, just some buddies and just want something small to just sort of jam at home with. Maybe you're at school, that's kind of useful for that. Or alternatively, you might be looking at this and you might be thinking, actually that would be a really, really cool electronic drum monitor. You know, it's stereo, I could have a backing track going in at the same time, I could have my bass player going in at the same time. Um, maybe I wanna use it as a vocal wedge, you know, just a wedge monitor for, I'm a keyboard player or something like that. I play keyboards and sing at the same time. I think there's a ton of different sort of uses and applications from this. Uh, the 150 watts gives it enough power. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily put it in a sort of a gigging category, but certainly for uh, monitoring for gigging would be cool. And, uh, and you know, plenty sort of pokey enough for good sort of garage band jam, home use, all that kind of stuff. So what I thought I'd do for a bit of fun is um, put down a bass line. Now, obviously I can't play bass and guitar at the same time. So I'm gonna use a looper pedal to put the bass guitar down, just show you what I can do with channel one. Uh, channel two, sorry. Channel one, I'm gonna put a guitar through with a couple of pedals just to get some effects. Uh, channel three, I've got a, a, a microphone and an iPod, so I'll just show you how that kind of works as well. So, if I switch it on, you're gonna hear a fan come on. Uh, these kind of amplifiers, the higher powered ones, are fan cooled. Um, it's important to, to keep the, the amp running as loud as it possibly can do, even for extended periods of time. You might just hear a little bit of hiss in the background, which is the fan. So here's my bass sound. As I said, apologies to all bass players out there, I'm nothing special on the bass. I can dial in a little bit of compression, in fact, I've got the compression on. I can dial in a bit of fuzz if I like that kind of. Depends what you like. I've got bass, middle and treble EQ controls, uh, and I'm running probably about a third volume, maybe a half to a third volume at the moment. So there's plenty more to go. So I'm just gonna try and put a little uh, bass line through this with my Ditto Looper. See if I can do this. It's So there's my bass loop going around. I'm just gonna grab a guitar now.
you get the general idea. I could, if I wanted to, which I'm not going to, I could sing. Uh, where's my volume on here? One, two, one, two. So I've actually got currently plugged in microphone, guitar, loop, looper. So there we are, but I'm not going to do all three at once. But you get the general idea. So if, if there was a little band of you, or even if you just played, you know, all three things yourself, how could you play all three things yourself at once? You couldn't, could you? But you get the general idea. Uh, I have uh, a phone with some music on it, and I could, if I wanted to, jam over the top of this. So let's try doing that and see what happens. Uh, let's pick a good one. You get the general idea. Now, as I said, it doesn't have a, a sort of a dedicated guitar amp channel like you would get on a guitar amplifier, so I'm having to use pedals. Uh, I suspect I would get an even more authentic sound if I had a, a pedal with some cabinet emulation in there, so some of the sort of multi-effects pedals that you get by Boss and Line 6 and Zoom and stuff would probably sound even more authentic and better through here. So just to recap, don't forget again, you've got your, your independent headphone outputs for up to three people. You've got um, an input, you've got four inputs, two of which have got some EQ and sort of controls. There's some bass effects in there. And then we've just got a straightforward sort of input either for a um, iPad, iPhone with some music or just a single channel input. Um, so I kind of think this is pretty cool. And, you know, clearly someone that just wants a bass amp or just wants a guitar amplifier, you know, this is going to be a bit over-featured for you. But I think for, for people that are going, do you know what, that's exactly what I need for my little band or my kids or whatever that are playing at home. Um, so check that out. I think you'd be surprised at, uh, surprised at, at, you know, how good value this is as well. Of course, if that is overkill for you, what you have got over here is the EM15, um, which is basically the same concept, but in a smaller sort of package. So what I'm gonna do, uh, if I can here, is pop my bass into one side and my guitar, if I can do this without getting into terrible spaghetti. Ah, I'm gonna plug my guitar into the other side and see if we can't just do the same thing again. Some of the features that are sort of ported over uh, again, each output has its own headphone socket, so that if that's what you need to do, you each want your own headphone output, you can do. Um, you also have, in addition to the two channels, the MP3, you know, your, your, phone, your, your um, music player input. Um, so hopefully my ditto looper has remembered that bass line. I mean, Eden have a massive heritage in bass amplifiers, so to be honest with you, you may look at this and go, do you know what, I'm just gonna use this as a bass amplifier for practice at home, but. exactly the same kind of concept as the bigger one, but in a, a much smaller, uh, quite a lot quieter, kind of ideal really for home use. If it was pushed, it would probably just about do a little kind of jam. Um, but I think that's very, very cool. And you know, Eden stuff is, is you know, solidly built, uh, has a great heritage, as I said, in making sort of bass amplifiers. And both these, qual both these products rather are just a bit quirky. I don't know of anything else, um, certainly nothing else that we sell. I don't know of anything else really on the market that kind of targets that kind of vibe. So anyway, that's the end of the demo. Uh, if you've got any questions about this, do fire them away in the comments section or better still, contact the guys at Anderton's uh, directly with your question. And uh, 
That's it, demo over. I've been the captain, see you next time.